Hi guys. So to start with, what we're doing and what I'm doing is changing the way wineries and consumers discover and engage uh, with each other. As wine enthusiasts, we've all had those annoying and sometimes repetitive unpersonal emails and newsletters, sometimes phone calls right in the middle of sitting down to dinner from wineries and clubs. We hardly engage, are too busy, and in most cases dismiss it or delete the emails. If it's not the winery's fault, they've just been doing what they only know how. We need to educate them on consumer engagement, show them a newer and more efficient and effective way to attract with, and more importantly, retain spending customers. Imagine a world where rather than, being, rather than there being 3,000 winery clubs vying for consumer engagement, that there was one club that the consumers sought out the wineries and were rewarded for their patronage. Well, there hasn't been such a marketplace until now. Welcome to the Epicurean Collective the company launching Australia's first loyalty and consumer platform to the Australian wine industry, Wine Rewards. So what are the problems that we're faced with? Competition as far as wineries go. The Australian wine industry is, highly, is a highly competitive marketplace. The consumer generally is a member of multiple wineries. So why should they buy one wine over not another? Why should a consumer choose to buy from one winery over another as well? The industry and the wine producers are unsure. The are unsure. The seller doors are generally not dedicated salespeople. They don't naturally understand what the consumer is seeking and how to engage with them. The owners, decision makers from the wineries generally do not have the resources to research and develop industry trends, consumer behavior and engagement activities. And finally, loyalty. We know that customer loyalty has dropped immensely over the years. In last year's 2019 Wine Australia Direct to Consumer Report indicated that only 1% of consumers are joining clubs and of those clubs, there was an 8% attrition rate over 18 months. We understand that most businesses want customer loyalty. So what do we know in 2020? Looking at the top figures, we can determine that the wine industry is starting to integrate technology into the front end of their business, hallelujah. We know that due to COVID, consumers have gone online and sought out those businesses who are active online. The ones that weren't active online have been left behind. So what's the biggest opportunity? The natural progression into the wine consumer space is that of brand loyalty and rewards. We know that we can't tell the consumer what wine to drink, what food to eat or where to stay. But what we can do is engage with them, reward them and incentivize them to keep coming back. It's tit for tat. Is it tit for tat? Absolutely. You only need to look at some of the biggest retail brands in Australia and their biggest marketing tools are loyalty and reward programs. Qantas, Maya One, Woolworths Rewards, American Express, Dan Murphy's. And then the first thing that the Wine Collective launched since their newest capital raise was, you guessed it, a loyalty and rewards program. So how do we do this? Firstly, we're a marketplace. Imagine a digital supermarket of wineries and related businesses all at the touch of your fingertips. Secondly, we're a transferable loyalty and rewards program. This means that the consumer can take their loyalty points and reward dollars, cash back, from their purchases and shop them anywhere on our database of participating businesses. Thirdly, we provide an exclusive ecosystem, a community environment where the consumer feels engaged, valued and rewarded. They're part of something exclusive. This is a vital component in the loyalty space. And finally, we provide a support portal. We know our stuff and we ensure that our vendors get all the support, training and thinking that they need to be successful on our platform. Now to the fun part, the technology. Wine Rewards is designed to, to provide convenience and ease of access to the consumer. We offer no limitations on what type of device you can access the platform from. Of course, ones that are, uh, can provide a smart device. The backend portal where the vendors upload offers, download analytics, new club members, payments, et cetera, is accessible from both a dedicated website and also boasts a mobile version as well. We're working to make sure that we make this as easy as possible. Features of the platform. The marketplace offers the user the ability to search, engage and transact with both wineries and related tourism businesses. The search capability means the user can browse freely or use our recommendation tools to to suggest award-winning wineries and restaurants from Halliday Wine Companion to finding that hidden gem via our in-house sommelier to ethically traded businesses, organic products, and I cannot believe I'm gonna say this, but the non-alcoholic movement. 
bookings. One of the key features is how we're able to integrate with industry leaders such as Resdy to ensure that the user can book directly with the winery or related businesses via our platform. If a business doesn't have that in place, no issues. We can send bookings direct to their email, SMS or calendar. The rewards. This is the heart of our platform. Earn cashback rewards from all of your purchases through the platform. The user has the ability to use their cashback to make other purchases at other businesses or deposit the money back into their own personal account. Okay, the business end. How do we commercialize and make money? Let's start with the business to business revenue. Wineries and related businesses pay a monthly subscription fee to be a part of the marketplace. And for that, they get access to the features and support of the wine rewards platform. Our pricing structure is scaled based on the size of the winery, meaning a small boutique operator is not going to pay the same as a large multi-site exporter. We understand business. We appreciate how many offers these businesses get every day. With Wine Rewards, the winery is on board at no fee to begin with, allowing them to taste us and allow us to drive business to them. It really is a try before you buy. Oh, and to add to our commitment, we won't lock the business into a contract. If you don't feel the value, then you're not stuck with us. Simple business, we feel. As far as business to consumer revenue goes, it's a simple solution as well. We make our money two ways. First, we charge a small percentage of the merchant fee at the point of transaction. Secondly, we charge a commission based on the cashback reward paid to the customer. So who are our customers? Well, for choice of words, we're the middle of the coin. And I, I quote, uh, Good old Dr. Dar Damien for the, Darren for that. On the upstream, we encourage businesses with a wine region that offer complimentary services and products to the visitor. The wine is the focus, but we understand that when you visit a wine region, especially more than one day, you'll spend at multiple businesses. On the downstream, consumers who we like to call them wine hobbyists, meaning those that have a love for food and wine regions, exploring a passion for food, wines, and all that goes with it. Getting to market. Onboarding the wineries and related businesses will require a strong sales process that has, has myself and a dedicated sales team visiting regions and onboarding the businesses onto our platform. As for the consumers, we understand that the vast majority of our consumers play online. They are tech savvy, engage heavily in social media channels, and thus we have established a significant investment into social marketing, PR and influencer relationships. As part of this investment, we also rely heavily on industry partnerships the businesses and our networking to leverage existing clubs and databases. The ask, we're seeking between 550 and $800,000 for seed capital. For this, we're offering the investor or investors a range of options and convertible notes that will see them benefit from the financial growth of their investment in wine rewards. Depending on the value of investment, as mentioned, will directly impact the rollout strategy, how aggressively we go to market and how quickly we do it. As you can see from the visual chart, the bulk of investment is directed at money-making operations. The rollout plan. As you can see from the slide, our rollouts consist of clear milestones. We'll undertake a pilot program within two regions uh, starting in December this year, one in South Australia and the other in Victoria. Our soft launch is earmarked uh, for South Australia. Um, South Australia is second to none with strong adoption of technology and the government is proactive in supporting their wine and tourism industry. You only need to look at the existing uh, voucher and couponing system that they've done to engage to uh, see that. Our full launch will take place across all 65 wine regions throughout Australia by summer 2021, which leaves us ample time to onboard all the wineries and related businesses needed for this launch. Finally, our first international growth is marked for New Zealand with a similar rollout strategy timeline as what we've done in Australia. Now to the fun part, the team. What we've assembled here is a team uh, that not one only minute, one minute. Yeah. Yeah. One okay. Minute. So what we've done here is is assemble a team of basically people that are that are key and um, uh, exceptional in their specific roles. Secondly, we've got trusted advisors from the industry. So what we've done is make sure that we've partnered with the right people that allow us to cut through and be able to allow us to grow in a quick and sustained way. The final areas I want to uh, introduce you uh, to a typical client of, uh, of Wine Rewards. I want you to fast forward your minds 12 to 18 months from now. Here's a typical customer, someone who is tech driven, loves wine, coffee, and fashion, of course. 
<laughs> you're planning a surprise getaway for your partner to the Parossa Valley. Sitting in your chair at work, flicking through the latest offers on wine rewards, choosing a hidden gem or, or two that our sommelier has recommended. Knowing your partner, you find a gorgeous boutique cottage overlooking the sweeping hills and vines of the Brossa. You find a local restaurant that's just won an award and book. She is blown away. But wait, just when she thinks you couldn't outdo yourself, with the cashback rewards that you've earned from the weekend's indulgences, you embark on a trip to the local retail shop to spoil her. Or, you know what? You may just pay for that power bill that just came in. Either way, Wine Rewards has rewarded you for being you and spending time doing the things that you love. Thank you.